So I know the people that are driving this. I want to know who you know is driving. My understanding is is that Sable Trail has two process. They have the ability to do federal eminent domain and state eminent domain. What and agency they, though gives them that authority? There has to state be state statute. No, no, there's a federal is. statute. Yeah, the state statute actually says that. Just check on that for us, Mr. Scott. I, that's what I just want to. Yeah, know. I mean, that, that's that, what I mean, that's what you guys need to find out for us. Is you're our local representative. Sure. Your state representative can find out. Who uh, in the the eminent domain is part of the United States Constitution. Yes, sir. But there is a federal agency that's a point of contact for this project. Who is that? Department of Energy. Department of. It's in the presentation. Oh, man, talk about Federal it. Energy Regulation Commission, isn't it? Uh, I'm, I'm that, sure. I'm sure at the state level it comes through the Federal Service Commission. Uh, I'm sure probably on the federal level it's coming through the uh, EPA. Can I say a little bit? No, no, I'm actually going to cut you off. Yeah. Uh, Councilman Tim Carroll has something he wants to say to us. I just wanted to say, first of all, you're in the room. <laughs> but, uh, I can't speak on behalf of the city of all Austin. I'm merely here as the council from District 5. I'm also the representative of that gentleman right there, who's in my district. So I, I'm here to be his voice. Okay, thank you. Now, we're going to have Carol give her presentation because in the presentation she has some information which might answer some of your questions. I'm going to guess that it's going to raise more questions than it answers. So, Carol. 